King Charles III has been diagnosed with a form of cancer. King Charles III has been diagnosed with cancer. Stunning news from Buckingham Palace. King Charles has cancer. King Charles will be forcibly abdicated in November this year and replaced by an indirect successor. Do you believe in this scary prophecy of Nostradamus? A few years ago, people could ignore Nostradamus's predictions about the British royal family and assume that such a tragic outcome would never happen to such a thousand-year-old monarchy. However, after the death of Queen Elizabeth II, public attention began to focus on those prophecies. Even more shocking was the shocking news earlier this year about King Charles's health condition, which further increased the credibility of Nostradamus's prophecy. There are many more terrifying predictions about King Charles's fate that you will discover in this video. Don't miss it. Michel de Nostradam, more commonly known as Nostradamus, was a prominent French astrologer and seer of the 16th century. He is best known for his book, Les Prophecies, first published in 1555, which contains a series of cryptic quatrains that are said to predict future events. Despite the enigmatic nature of his writings, many of his predictions have been interpreted by scholars and cryptologists as having come true, cementing his reputation as a master prognosticator. Les Prophecies consists of 9 to 42 quatrains, four line verses, which Nostradamus wrote in a mixture of languages, including French, Greek, Latin, and Occitan. These verses are deliberately obscure designed to be difficult to interpret and thus able to withstand the scrutiny of both his contemporaries and future generations. Nostradamus's choice of ambiguous language and symbolism has led to countless debates and interpretations over the centuries. One of the most famous examples of Nostradamus's predictions that have been linked to actual historical events is his alleged foretelling of the September 11, 2001, terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center in New York City. Though his writings did not explicitly mention the event, some interpreters have found quatrains that they believe describe the catastrophic attack with eerie accuracy. Similarly, Nostradamus is often credited with predicting the Great Fire of London in 1666. A quatrain interpreted by some experts is said to reference the devastating fire that swept through the city leading to widespread destruction and loss of life. In addition to these events, Nostradamus is also noted for his purported connection to the British royal family. One of the most remarkable instances is his prediction concerning Queen Elizabeth I. According to some interpretations, Nostradamus accurately foresaw the age at which she would die and the year of her demise. This level of specificity has intrigued scholars and enthusiasts alike, lending further credibility to his prophecies. Given his track record, Nostradamus's predictions about contemporary figures such as King Charles III are taken very seriously by some experts. His quatrains are meticulously examined for any references that might pertain to current events or the future of the British monarchy. Following King Charles's diagnosis of prostate cancer, a prediction from Nostradamus's Les Prophecies has resurfaced and gained significant attention. This prediction suggests that King Charles would be forcibly removed from power only 18 months after ascending to the throne, which he did following Queen Elizabeth II's passing in 2022. The king's diagnosis came shortly after he underwent surgery for benign prostate enlargement, adding a layer of complexity to his health concerns. The royal family has kept specific details about King Charles's cancer diagnosis confidential, but the news has generated widespread concern and speculation. Among the public and experts, there is considerable anxiety about the implications of his health issues for the stability of the monarchy. One notable interpretation of Nostradamus's prophecy comes from British author Mario Reading. Reading, along with other experts, has scrutinized Nostradamus's quatrains and identified a passage that seems eerily pertinent to King Charles's situation. The quatrain in question states, The King of Isles will be forcibly removed from power. 
This phrase has led to speculation that Nostradamus was indeed referring to King Charles of the United Kingdom, which includes the Isle of Wight among its territories. The interpretation of the King of Isles driven out by force has sparked debates about its potential meaning. Some believe it could predict King Charles's forceful abdication due to health issues, public dissent, or political turmoil. Given the historical context of Nostradamus's prophecies and their often cryptic nature, the exact circumstances leading to such an event remain open to interpretation. Interp While the prediction regarding King Charles's reign coming to an end has garnered significant attention, some experts believe that its fulfillment may not unfold exactly as Nostradamus's quatrains seem to foretell. These experts argue that the likelihood of King Charles being forcibly removed from power is minimal, suggesting instead alternative scenarios that could lead to his abdication. One prevalent theory posits that King Charles might have stepped down voluntarily due to deteriorating health. His recent diagnosis of prostate cancer, coupled with prior surgery for benign prostate enlargement, has already raised concerns about his ability to fulfill the demanding responsibilities of the monarchy. The stress and physical toll of his health issues could plausibly lead to a decision to abdicate in favor of preserving his well-being. Another possibility considered by some experts is that King Charles might abdicate due to a lack of desire to continue ruling. Ascending the throne at an older age, he has already spent a considerable portion of his life in service to the crown. The immense pressures and expectations of his role, combined with the potential for civil and political unrest, might influence his decision to step aside and pass the crown to the next in line. Regardless of the exact scenario, the idea of King Charles abdicating aligns with Nostradamus's broader prediction about the King of Isles being removed from power. Nostradamus, renowned for his cryptic yet often accurate prophecies, has a history of foreseeing significant royal events. Notably, he is credited with predicting Queen Elizabeth II's age and the year of her demise with remarkable precision. Despite his track record, skepticism remains among some scholars and observers. Critics argue that Nostradamus's prophecies are inherently ambiguous and open to multiple interpretations. They point out that Nostradamus did not specifically mention King Charles in his writings and suggest that the phrase King of Isles being abdicated could have referred to a French monarch considering the historical context in which Nostradamus wrote his quatrains. The debate over Nostradamus's predictions continues to captivate public interest. The prophecy concerning King Charles highlights the enduring fascination with Nostradamus's work and the human desire to anticipate future events. Whether Nostradamus's prediction about King Charles will come true remains to be seen but the intrigue surrounding his prophecies ensures that they will continue to be a topic of discussion and speculation. Following King Charles's recent cancer diagnosis and the ensuing speculation about his potential abdication, public discourse has increasingly turned towards the possibility of Prince William assuming the throne earlier than anticipated. This speculation has gained significant traction, fueled by the uncertainties surrounding King Charles's health and the historical context of Nostradamus's prophetic writings. While Nostradamus's predictions do not explicitly mention Prince William, experts and enthusiasts alike have drawn parallels based on the line of succession. Prince William, as the eldest son of Prince Charles and next in line to the British throne, naturally emerges as a focal point in discussions about succession in the event of King Charles's abdication. At 41 years old, Prince William holds the title of Duke of Cambridge and has been groomed for leadership within the monarchy, assuming increasing responsibilities over recent years. The prospect of Prince William's premature accession to the throne raises intriguing questions about the future direction of the British monarchy. Traditionally, the transition of power within the royal family has been governed by established protocols and expectations. However, 
King Charles's health challenges have prompted considerations of alternative scenarios, including the possibility of an earlier reign for Prince William. In the event of an abdication by King Charles, whether forced or voluntary, Prince William would be the natural successor to assume the role of king. His upbringing, education, and experience within the royal family have prepared him for such a responsibility. Moreover, the public's familiarity with Prince William, his wife Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, and their children adds to the anticipation and interest surrounding the potential future monarch. The speculation surrounding King Charles's future as the crowned king of the United Kingdom has intensified amidst his ongoing health challenges. Despite his current activity in ruling the country, there is a growing belief among some experts that his reign may soon come to an end. This notion is bolstered by reports indicating that Prince William is increasingly preparing for his future role as monarch. Role as Prince William, as the heir apparent, has gradually assumed more responsibilities within the royal family. Recent reports, such as those from the Daily Beast citing sources close to Prince William, suggest that he is actively engaging in discussions about his forthcoming reign. According to these sources, Prince William's friends have indicated that he is studying various aspects of his future rulership and anticipates wielding greater influence and control than his father. The prospect of Prince William stepping into a more prominent role aligns with traditional expectations for heirs to the throne. As the eldest son of Prince Charles and Princess Diana, and now Duke of Cambridge, Prince William has been groomed throughout his life for leadership within the monarchy. His education, military service, and public engagements have all been strategic steps in his preparation to eventually ascend the throne. The notion that Prince William may be intensifying his preparations due to the expectation of an imminent transition in leadership raises intriguing questions about the dynamics within the royal family. Is Prince William simply following the natural progression of his royal duties as heir apparent, or is he consciously accelerating his readiness for the throne in anticipation of his father's potential abdication? The speculation surrounding the succession of the British monarchy has taken an intriguing turn with the interpretation of one of Nostradamus's predictions. Amid discussions about King Charles's potential abdication and Prince William's future as monarch, attention has also shifted to an alternative scenario suggested by Nostradamus's prophecy. In his book of prophecies, Nostradamus wrote, King of the Isles driven out by force, replaced by one who will have no mark of a king. This cryptic passage has sparked considerable debate and speculation, particularly regarding the latter part of the sentence. The phrase, replaced by one who will have no mark of a king, has led some interpreters to consider an unexpected candidate for the throne, namely Prince Harry. Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, is well known for his decision to step back from royal duties and relocate to the United States with his wife, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. Despite being ineligible to ascend the throne due to his position in the line of succession and his voluntary withdrawal from royal responsibilities, the notion that he could potentially assume the throne has captured the public imagination. The suggestion that Prince Harry might be considered to replace King Charles, according to Nostradamus's prophecy, hinges on interpretations that extend beyond traditional expectations of royal succession. Nostradamus's prophecies are often ambiguous and subject to various interpretations over time, reflecting the complexities of predicting future events. However, skeptics caution against taking such interpretations too literally. The idea that Prince Harry could become king contradicts established rules of succession and his personal choices to distance himself from royal life. Moreover, the phrase, one who will have no mark of a king, could be interpreted in numerous ways, potentially referring to someone outside the direct line of succession or someone perceived as unconventional for the role. The debate surrounding Nostradamus's prophecy underscores the enduring fascination with royal succession and the mysteries of future events. Whether Nostradamus intended this passage to foretell Prince Harry's involvement in the monarchy remains a subject of conjecture. 
Prince Harry's journey from a prominent member of the British royal family to a self-imposed exile in the United States has been a subject of intense scrutiny and speculation. His marriage to American actress Meghan Markle marked a departure from tradition within the royal family, as she was not from a royal background. This union, coupled with their subsequent decision to step back from their senior royal duties and pursue a more independent life, sent shockwaves through the media and the monarchy itself. The announcement of Prince Harry and Meghan's intention to relinquish their royal roles, dubbed Megxit by the press, created a significant rift within the royal family. Relations, particularly with Prince Charles, Harry's father and heir to the throne, became strained amidst discussions of their departure from royal duties and their future outside the UK. Against this backdrop of familial discord and personal choices, the news of King Charles's prostate cancer diagnosis brought Prince Harry back into the spotlight. Despite the physical and emotional distance from the royal family, Prince Harry made a swift and unexpected return to the UK upon learning of his father's health crisis. Arriving via private plane, his sudden presence at his father's side during this challenging time underscored the depth of familial bonds and responsibilities that transcend personal decisions. Prince Harry's return amid his father's health concerns has reignited discussions about his role within the royal family and his potential influence on future events. In the context of Nostradamus's prophecy, which suggests a replacement for King Charles who does not fit the traditional mold of a king, Prince Harry's actions have sparked renewed speculation. The prophecy's cryptic reference to someone without the usual characteristics of kingship aligns with Prince Harry's unconventional path and his departure from royal norms. The interpretation of Nostradamus's prophecy by author Mario Reading, suggesting the possibility of Prince Harry's future rule, has ignited a spectrum of speculative interpretations among various groups and enthusiasts. While some believe in the accuracy of Nostradamus's prediction regarding Charles stepping down, there is skepticism about Prince Harry ascending to the throne. The established line of succession dictates that Prince William, as the elder and next in line, would assume the role of monarch after his father. Prince William's upbringing and education have groomed him extensively for the responsibilities of kingship, making him the logical successor in traditional terms. However, another faction proposes a scenario where Prince Harry's potential ascension is linked to Charles's forced removal from the crown due to civil unrest or other significant upheavals. This theory posits that such turmoil could precipitate Charles's abdication, leading to a deviation from the expected succession order. Prince Harry's recent return to the UK amid his father's health concerns lends credence to this viewpoint, as it underscores his ongoing ties and potential role within the royal family during times of crisis. Furthermore, there exists a third speculation suggesting a transitional monarchy where Prince William briefly assumes the throne after Charles, only to be succeeded shortly thereafter by Prince Harry. This hypothesis implies a dynamic shift in leadership within a relatively short span, reflecting uncertainties and potential disruptions foreseen in Nostradamus's prophecy. Amidst these diverse interpretations, the idea of Prince Harry eventually becoming king remains controversial and unconventional within the context of established royal protocols. The monarchy's centuries-old traditions and legal frameworks underscore the complexities involved in such a scenario. Nonetheless, the enduring fascination with Nostradamus's prophecies and their historical accuracy in other instances continue to fuel discussions about the potential future of the British monarchy. If Nostradamus's prediction about Prince Harry assuming the throne were to materialize, it would indeed mark a profound and unprecedented chapter in the royal family's history. Such an outcome would not only reshape perceptions of royal succession, but also redefine expectations surrounding the monarchy's adaptability to modern challenges and interpretations of ancient prophecies.
In fact, the interpretation of Nostradamus's prophecy, specifically Quatrain 1022 from his renowned book Les Prophecies, has sparked a profound debate among scholars and enthusiasts regarding the future of the British monarchy. At the heart of this speculation is the notion that Nostradamus may have foreseen a significant transformation in the governmental system of the United Kingdom. Historically, the British royal family traces its origins to the consolidation of the kingdoms of England and Scotland in the 10th century. Over the centuries, the monarchy has played a central role in the governance and cultural identity of the nation. However, Nostradamus's prophecy, particularly the phrase, someone with no mark of a king taking over the government, has prompted some to consider the possibility of a radical departure from centuries-old traditions. The prophecy's interpretation suggests that the end of King Charles's reign could signal not just a change in monarchs, but a fundamental shift away from monarchical rule altogether. This speculation posits that someone outside the royal lineage could rise to power, effectively ending the royal family's governance over the country. This hypothetical scenario envisions the establishment of a completely democratic government in place of the monarchy, marking a historic transition in British political history. British poli the idea that Nostradamus might have hinted at such a transformation challenges conventional views of royal succession and national governance. It reflects broader societal discussions about the adaptability of traditional institutions to modern democratic ideals and the potential for unforeseen political upheavals. The British monarchy has indeed faced numerous challenges in recent years, including debates over its relevance in modern society, criticisms of royal expenditures, and occasional controversies involving members of the royal family. However, Experts argue that these challenges do not necessarily translate into a movement toward abolishing the monarchy or instituting a fully democratic system. One key reason cited by experts is the significant power and influence wielded by the monarchy within the constitutional framework of the United Kingdom. Although the monarch's authority is largely ceremonial and symbolic, they still play crucial roles in various ceremonial and diplomatic functions. Moreover, the royal family remains broadly supported by the public, with surveys consistently showing strong levels of approval and admiration for Queen Elizabeth II and other members of the royal household. Furthermore, there is currently no organized opposition or widespread movement advocating for the removal of the monarchy from government. The constitutional monarchy has proven resilient over centuries, adapting to societal changes while maintaining a balance between tradition and modernity. However, the future is inherently uncertain, and opinions can evolve over time. While the monarchy appears secure for now, shifts in public opinion or unforeseen political developments could potentially alter the landscape in the future. It remains to be seen whether challenges or opposition to the monarchy might emerge in the years ahead, reshaping the discussion about the institution's role in British governance. The question of whether King Charles will be the last monarch of the United Kingdom, or if future monarchs will follow, is thus one that can only be answered by time itself. The ongoing debates and speculations surrounding Nostradamus's prophecies serve as a reflection of broader societal interests in the monarchy's future and its enduring place in British history and culture. Nostradamus's prophecies, known for their cryptic and often ambiguous nature, have been the subject of interpretation and debate for centuries. While he did not explicitly predict the downfall of specific rulers, his writings have been linked to broader themes of political upheaval and societal change, including within the realm of monarchies. Within this context, interpretations have emerged that connect his prophecies to the current reign of King Charles and the British royal family. The prophecy in question suggests a kingdom torn apart by controversies and scandals leading to its eventual downfall. While the interpretation remains open to various perspectives, many have associated it with King Charles amid ongoing speculations about his health and concerns over his ability to effectively govern. 
This interpretation posits that internal strife and external pressures could culminate in a crisis that challenges the stability of the monarchy itself. The backdrop to these interpretations includes well-documented controversies within the royal family. The marriage of Prince Harry to Meghan Markle, an American actress, brought unprecedented scrutiny and media attention, highlighting issues of race and public perception within the traditionally insular royal circles. Additionally, rumors surrounding Prince William's alleged affair in 2019 with Sarah Rose Cholmondley added fuel to ongoing public fascination with the personal lives of the royals. Moreover, King Charles himself has not been immune to controversy. His highly publicized divorce from Lady Diana in 1996, following a tumultuous marriage marked by infidelity and media scrutiny, remains a pivotal moment in recent royal history. These incidents underscore the challenges faced by the royal family in maintaining public trust and navigating the complexities of modern media scrutiny. Looking ahead, some experts speculate that by the end of 2024, the intensifying controversies within the royal family could reach a critical juncture. If these issues escalate beyond King Charles's ability to manage, or if his health further deteriorates, there may be pressure for him to consider stepping down from the throne prematurely. Such a scenario, while speculative, reflects broader concerns about the future stability and continuity of the British monarchy in an era of heightened public scrutiny and evolving societal norms. Society. The speculations surrounding the economic future of the United Kingdom, in light of Nostradamus's prophecies, have added a layer of complexity to discussions about King Charles's reign and the challenges facing the country. These discussions have gained renewed attention following King Charles's cancer diagnosis, coinciding with ongoing economic difficulties and social tensions within the nation. In recent years, the United Kingdom has indeed encountered significant economic challenges, factors such as Brexit, global economic shifts, and domestic policy decisions have contributed to a landscape of uncertainty and volatility. Against this backdrop, some individuals have drawn parallels between Nostradamus's prophecies and the current socioeconomic climate under King Charles's rule. Nostradamus's prophecies, renowned for their cryptic nature and broad interpretations, have been linked by some to predictions of national decline and upheaval. The suggestion that the kingdom could face economic hardships and social unrest aligns with interpretations that view Nostradamus's writings through the lens of contemporary events. The perception that King Charles's health issues may limit his ability to effectively govern and manage state affairs, including economic policies, has further fueled these speculations. The uncertainty surrounding King Charles's health exacerbated by his recent cancer diagnosis, has raised concerns about the continuity and stability of leadership during a critical period for the country's economic recovery. Speculations suggest that prolonged absence or diminished capacity to govern could potentially exacerbate existing economic challenges, leading to broader societal impacts and civil unrest. However, it is essential to approach these speculations with caution. Nostradamus's prophecies, while intriguing, remain open to varied interpretations and skepticism. The complexity of predicting future events based on historical texts adds to the uncertainty surrounding their application to contemporary circumstances. Moreover, the resilience of the British economy and its institutions, coupled with adaptive governance mechanisms, historically positions the nation to weather challenges and navigate periods of uncertainty. The monarchy, as a symbol of continuity and tradition, plays a ceremonial role in national life while governmental bodies manage day-to-day -day operations and policies. Nostradamus's quatrains from the prophecies continue to captivate and provoke interpretations, especially when applied to contemporary events like the reign of King Charles in the United Kingdom. One such quatrain, which mentions three beautiful children, and predicts their influence on the kingdom's fate, has drawn attention despite the discrepancy in the number of children King Charles actually has. This prophecy suggests that these children, 
metaphorically representing heirs or successors, will bring ruin to the kingdom following a period of war. Mario Redding, a notable interpreter of Nostradamus's works, has suggested that this prophecy indicates challenges during King Charles's rule, possibly resulting from internal strife or external conflicts. While the literal aspect of three children doesn't align with King Charles's situation, the broader implications of turmoil and change resonate with interpretations of potential instability or crisis during his reign. Another prophecy attributed to Nostradamus, forecasting blood will be spilled and the crown will be lost, has also been linked to concerns over King Charles's tenure. Interpreters argue that this could signify not only literal conflict, but also metaphorical struggles within the kingdom, leading to upheaval and possibly the end of royal authority under Charles's leadership. Despite the United Kingdom's long-standing avoidance of direct involvement in major conflicts, the prophecy's applicability to social and economic unrest raises questions about the kingdom's stability in the face of internal pressures. The speculation suggests that even without international conflict, domestic challenges could escalate to a degree where they threaten the monarchy's continuity. However, a pragmatic assessment of Nostradamus's prophecies reminds us of the interpretive nature of such texts. The United Kingdom has maintained relative stability and prosperity over recent decades, with no recent history of internal upheaval or significant international conflicts involving British forces. This historical context makes it less likely that the country would suddenly face a period of war or acute crisis leading to King Charles's forced abdication. It's crucial to recognize that while Nostradamus's writings may contain elements that resonate with current events, their interpretation involves a degree of speculation and conjecture. The tendency to attribute all manner of predictions to specific historical figures such as King Charles underscores the complex interplay between prophecy, historical context, and the human desire to make sense of uncertain futures. Besides, one particularly intriguing quatrain that has drawn attention in relation to King Charles's reign reads, Princes and lords are held captive in prisons. These will in the future by headless idiots be received as divine prayers. This prophecy has been associated with predictions of religious upheaval and unrest in the United Kingdom during King Charles's rule. Interpreters of Nostradamus's work have suggested that headless idiots could symbolize a rebellious religious or secular group rising against the established order, potentially targeting the royal family and leading to significant turmoil. The notion of these individuals seizing Buckingham Palace and holding King Charles and his family captive presents a stark and dramatic image, reflecting the prophecy's unsettling implications. However, interpretations diverge on the nature of this supposed uprising. Some argue that the headless idiots represent a religious faction challenging the monarchy's authority, possibly in a bid to replace it with a new order guided by their own beliefs. Others contend that the prophecy metaphorically signifies a broader societal shift away from traditional religious influence, with secular forces or ideological movements challenging established norms and institutions. Indeed, the rise of secularism and declining religious adherence in contemporary society has been noted globally, including in the United Kingdom. This cultural trend has been accompanied by debates over the role of religion in public life and its influence on governance, underscoring ongoing societal changes that could potentially impact political stability. Moreover, historical parallels have been drawn to events like the French Revolution of 1789-1799, where religious and political upheaval led to the overthrow of the French monarchy. Some interpret Nostradamus's prophecy through this lens, suggesting that it may have already been fulfilled in a different historical context, complicating efforts to apply it to current events. Critics of such interpretations caution against literal readings of Nostradamus's quatrains, highlighting their vague and metaphorical nature.
The challenge of accurately interpreting these prophecies lies in reconciling historical context with contemporary developments, while acknowledging the inherent ambiguity of Nostradamus's language. Even more, one notable quatrain from his writings, cited as potentially relevant to current times, reads, Very great famine through the pestiferous wave. This prophecy has led experts to speculate about the occurrence of significant natural disasters, particularly focusing on the impact of climatic phenomena such as tsunamis. The interpretation hinges on the term wave, which some suggest could symbolize not just a literal tidal wave, but a metaphorical representation of widespread destruction brought about by natural forces. The envisioned scenario involves tsunamis devastating the United Kingdom's crops, leading to widespread famine, disease, and societal disruption. This grim prediction raises concerns about the potential for severe consequences under King Charles's rule, should such an eventuality materialize. Historically, Nostradamus has been credited with foreseeing several catastrophic events, adding weight to interpretations that link his prophecies to real-world disasters. One of the most infamous examples is his purported prediction of the Great Fire of London in 1666, which devastated the city and left a lasting mark on British history. Despite these interpretations, Skeptics caution against definitive conclusions drawn from Nostradamus's writings. They argue that the vagueness of his language and the absence of explicit references to King Charles or the United Kingdom in the prophecy leave room for alternative interpretations. Moreover, the possibility exists that such predictions may have already been fulfilled in different historical contexts or could apply to future events beyond the scope of current speculation. Critics also point out that natural disasters, while a constant threat globally, do not necessarily align neatly with prophetic timelines or specific geopolitical contexts. The occurrence of catastrophic storms and their devastating impact on agriculture and communities has been documented throughout history, underscoring the unpredictable nature of natural phenomena. Furthermore, the interpretation of Nostradamus's prophecies often reflects broader anxieties about environmental resilience, societal preparedness, and the implications of global climate change. Discussions about potential catastrophic events during King Charles's reign underscore the ongoing dialogue about resilience, adaptation, and the role of prophecy in shaping public perceptions and policy responses. What do you think about Nostradamus's prophecies about Charles's reign and his abdication? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.